Bam, that button. Five, four, three, two. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Poundcast. I am one of your hosts. I am JB, and I am here with my fantastic co-hosts. First off, we've got the lovely, the talented, the wonderful Zephyr. Oh, me? No, that's him. No. Oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hi, Peachy. How are you? Fantastic. How are you? And then straight from the bayous of Louisiana, we have our swamp rat, one Saz. Hey. What's up? Oh, it's going. It's going well. It's going well? It's going. So I've been doing this new thing on all of my shows uh, where I start off with the mental health check-in. Look at me. <laughs> I mean, you are giving, like, you're giving Aryan youth right now. <laughs> There's not often times I can fight anything, especially not during Black History Month. So, <laughs> let you have that. You know, it's, you, you're giving, it's giving real, like, you know, gay Republican. Honestly, listen, I just need to get canceled one good time, and it's Chick-fil-A. And, and Azalea Banks. And Azalea Banks for the rest of my life. Listen, look, look, let me tell you something. I unproblematically listen to Azalea Banks, and I don't give a shit. She only hates the white gays. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and, you know, my stance on Chick-fil-A is, I'm not going to purchase it. But no. if you bring it over, I'm going to tear that shit up. You're going to get us canceled. All don't of our, touch it at all. All of our sponsors are going to leave us. Listen, I'm a black gay man. We don't, have, we don't have sponsors. <laughs> you know who the sponsor is? Give to the Patreon. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. For just a dollar a day. For just a dollar a day. You can save this Negro. <laughs> no. So, any news coming from this week? I know that you've got you've got some good news coming. Uh, you've got news, don't which you? One? I've got all kinds of stuff yes, going on. Yes, tell us. What, well, give us a... Um, so... Uh, as of this past weekend, I stepped down from Midwest Puppy now um, for three and a half years. That has now come to an end. And Thank God. Um, so now I'm up and running and moving towards uh, my next contest, so which is IPTC. And I will be running for International Puppies starting... Well, that contest is at the end of May. Or end of March, rather. Excuse me. I know. And uh, so I've got that happening. And... Before that, I've actually got a handful of other things happening. I've actually got uh, a drag benefit called Breast in Show, uh, which will be happening at Missy B's uh, on March 11th at 7 p.m. Uh, trust me, you're going to want to be there. And I've also got... Uh, I'll be doing some uh, gift baskets, uh, a, a gift basket that I'll be raffling off at, I'll be doing it at Laidback Leather during the month of March and Pound. So I'll do it both nights, uh, the winner will be drawn uh, after, at the end of Pound on, uh, at the end of the month in March. So how much is the raffle, because I might want to put a dollar in there, so, you know I'm broke, I ain't got a whole lot, so I'll I, just make a dollar I think it's going to be two or three dollars, I can't remember which, but uh, they'll be like two or three dollars for one ticket, five dollars. Uh, Three tickets for five dollars, and then ten dollars from tail to toe, and then twenty dollars boot to snoot. It's a lot of tickets. It's a lot of tickets. Oh, boot to snoot! I was like, is that a sex thing? Yeah. Snoot. 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 Got to do the snoot. Yeah, I was like, is that boot the snoot? Boot the snoot. No, I was like, are you toot it and boot it? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. So yeah, and other than that, we're getting ready for Sash Bash coming up. I'm so jealous. Ugh. Sash Bash is, I'm excited for Sash That'll Bash. That'll be next weekend. I, we're taking, I to go we're so taking all the puppies to Sash Bash. The first time Midnight Howl hits the road. What's so. funny is, is we had talked, originally we had talked about it, and I was going to go with you guys, and then we had an unfortunate incident <laughs> um, that left me sans employment. Okay, so listen, was it unfortunate? Did you just get caught doing what you was doing? Why don't you mind your business? Yeah, Listen, because yeah. baby, there was times I left that bar that I was like, huh. We don't say that too loud. The lawyers don't watch this. They don't want to watch this. But they yeah, don't. I mean, I just got caught doing what I, I mean. Listen, I take care of my friends. You did. Trust me, I left there real bad. 
<laughs> you no, that wasn't the night you yelled at me. Wasn't the night that you were at the bar? <laughs> wasn't the night you came from the bar, my bar? No, it was, <laughs> that was coming from side streets. That was coming from side streets. Well, well, what's going on with you? Um, that is it. We took the month off of January from this. From everything. Did we take the month off of January? Did somebody just forget? To do it? <laughs> it's called taking a month off. <laughs> Uh, we took the month off of January. It was very nice. I I I travel as a support. I don't dedicate myself to events and competitions. I just travel as support for those. Oh my God, you're doing so great. <laughs> Here's ten dollars. Um, it's no, I I don't. All of my vacations are for fun. All of my travel. I said fun. before the end of the year, the pound, Poundcast will be going on the road. We are going to do something at some point. Depending on the outcome of Sash Bash and how it goes traveling with what I believe is... Close to 20 of us. 20 of us all heading to Sash Bash. There will be other other things we're going to go to. I mean, you have Route 66, uh, Pup and Bear. I definitely will be going to Route 66. That is coming up. That is, that's an opportunity. It's not, a huge, it's not a huge travel thing. Um, IPTC is a little far. Where's uh, that at? It's also in Chicago. Oh. Um, there's always the hoist run that we had done previously. Um, bringing 20 of us to that. Listen, that I will know, not, that I know will not what be an boys, episode. That I, will, that will, I know what the boys will, give. Yeah. It's, it's a good time. I know what they give. Um, Matter of fact, they're going to be here for our run. But they... Um, them, yeah. We have... Um, 26. Ooh. We have a good opportunity to travel more with him, so you will, you will get the opportunity to I'll be able to, to go. Again. You know what I'm saying? Next time, we gonna let, we're not going to let my chronic brokenness stop me this time. Um, you got to keep a job, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you can do? Go to work. Eat the blackest part of my ass. Is it the hole? Is it the black hole? <laughs> it's actually that crease in the bottom. You know where the, where the cheeks meet? You gotta exfoliate, baby. Uh -uh. Maybe I do exfoliate. Listen, I say what you want to. This ass is always pristine. I know. It's an edible arrangement. I know now know what the name Little Star refers to. No, have I never told you the story, but fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Have I never told you about You part star? the night sky. There's this just is a little, little star. bright star. I never, ever, ever thought about it like that. That is all I ever think about now. That is every time I think it's just a bit that. A little balloon nut. Now I gotta go change my name, my screen name again. <laughs> Fuck. To Big Star. Big Star. <laughs> Vacuous space. <laughs> no. No. We all know that's not the truth. Um, <clears throat> it's tight. Super tight. Little balloon nut back there. Listen, you can get in, but you may not get back out. One way. That's how we like it. I'll take that dig. Give him. Take that dig with me. Um. <laughs> what, you, what have you been doing? Um. I've been so. I've had a lot go on in the last month. Like it's actually good that we did take the month of January off. It sounds like it. Um. Because between doing the run and. Oh, that I, a bitch is tired. And I've discovered weed. You have? Is it good? Listen. You like it? Let me tell you something. You know what? You want to cure depression? I'm allergic to it. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm not. I just don't have depression. It's, it's much easier. Fuck you. Bitch. <laughs> you want to cure depression? Get, a, get some weed. Because you know what I don't? You know what I don't? Give a fuck. <laughs> If I'm high, I don't give a girl, fuck that job. You can't be depressed if you were asleep. <laughs> and I do likes to sleep. Oh, that's all it does. It just puts you to sleep? That and I play like Grand Theft Auto and then I'll just be like, stop. You know what? Oh yeah, I, I'm a Grand Theft Auto player. I can tell you a Grand Theft Auto. I, I, I obey the traffic laws whenever I get stoned. I'm like, oh shit, the cops. Like, Not you out here obeying traffic laws on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, and then I play online and then a, an eight-year-old comes by and shoots my car. It is like, fuck you, faggot. <laughs> yeah. Your no. grandmother. I'm like, damn. You're like, why you gotta do me like that? Yeah, so I got a PlayStation 5, though, for Christmas. Oh. Let me tell you something. What? That bitch is beautiful. They are. 
they are beautiful. They, you either you got the PlayStation Five, which looks like a internet modem, mm -hmm. or you get the uh, the Xbox One X dash seven dash eight Xbox, which looks series, like a box, which is a fucking mini fridge. Yeah, and I have I have both of them, and they sit side by side. Yeah, they're both ridiculous. And it's like, I could probably go pawn these and get some money. <laughs> And go do things, you know, do things something better with my life. Um, I'll, or I could get high and play video games. I'll buy the PlayStation 5. No. Oh, well then, I thought we said pawn. No, I may have, I have a job now. Oh, you might. Hallelujah. You do? Don't play with me. Oh. We just put it in the atmosphere. Oh, we speak it into existence. Right, it's it. the secret in this bitch. Oh. It's I'm, the secret. I'm going to win the lottery. Loan me $20 then. Mm, not until I win the lottery. <laughs> If you win the lottery, you better loan me more than twenty dollars. If I win the lottery, uh, and, but loan will be the key word. It's yeah. a loan. You'll it's pay a, it back. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh no! If you win the lottery, ain't no loan in this bitch. Baby, if I win the lottery, I'm not gonna know you anymore. I'll forget. You would do that? I'm gonna have amnesia and a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> you would forget the people who have been with you since you was at the bottom. Baby, hey, I've never I have, been at the bottom. I am sitting right here, and I have a name. <laughs> You say I've never been at the bottom. I've never been at the bottom. All right, fourth war, bitch. Keep playing with me. Uh -huh. We talked about this earlier. You lived in the rich part of New Orleans? No, girl. I'm right there. That was young. It was different. It was a tadpole. And it grew into an alligator. It moved to a big swamp. <laughs> swamp rat. <laughs> so we have a fantastic guest here tonight. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Oh! Ooh, it just got cold in here. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. You picked them. I know. I pick all of them, and it doesn't mean that they're great. Um, he's fantastic, as I'm told to tell you all. Uh, I have nothing else to say about him. And it was probably some further details, but you can. He's see. actually one of the first pups I met. Damn. I met him before. I, I met him before I met you guys. Well, not you. <clears throat> Boy. Uh -huh. No, it was before you. I don't know. At some point. But, you know. No. First time I met you was almost two years ago. Two and a half years ago because Dexter was a puppy. Right. I had just gotten Dexter, so it was... Oh, and you brought him to the little house party. You know, mm -hmm. Yep. Um, no. Our guest is fantastic. Uh, that's right. You tell I, him. Pick his ass up. Um, I don't know. Does, what does he do? Um, I don't know what he does. You uh, asked. You booked him. <laughs> All jokes aside, no. Our guest is fantastic. He's very active in our community. Uh, he was a competitor in Show Me Leather 2022. Um, he's very active in our community. He's one of our ambassadors for Midnight Howl. Um, so I'm excited to have him on and see what yes, he has to say. And for him to defend himself for all of the... For all of the shit he pulls? All of the shit he pulls and puts me through and... Where it stresses my nerves. That oh my god. The way the the way this man tap dances, and does the bolero on my nerves. He he literally interacts with me with the intention of fucking killing yeah. me. He does it to everybody. And I hate it. It is. But there's a the reason he calls himself a goblin. There is. He is the Kansas City goblin. The Kansas City goblin. God, goblin. Speaking Lord. of, you know what we forgot to do? <laughs> we forgot to congratulate. Uh, Pup Blue on winning. Pup Blue did win. Um, Midwest. 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 So congratulations. We yeah. are so proud of you and the journey that you were on and all of that good stuff. Um, make us proud. Make us proud. Oh, yeah. I don't know where that came I, from. What was that? <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. I can't. I don't. It's That's nothing to do with nothing. I don't know where it came from. Talkspace is an app that can help you. <laughs> Not Talkspace. You should get up to... to so, yeah, yeah, because this show is a bundle of... I'd be like, did you see that reaction? Talkspace can help you talk through these uninhibited needs to shout for attention. Are you a narcissist? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you have sociopathic here. tendencies?
Zephyr's like, I can't participate. Zephyr's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, Zephyr said, my mental health is in check. Oh, God. Zephyr said, my mental health is fine. Well, it was a couple hours ago. Until we got <laughs> here. Until we got here. <laughs> so, so got guys, we did a, before we bring um, the goblin out, we did a photo shoot today. It was cute. It was fun. We did. It was very Sears, Roebuck, and Company. Uh, that was the first photo shoot I've done in quite a long time that I've had all of my clothes on. So it was very, it was very different. It was nice. You know, I'm proud of you for you know standing up for truth and dignity. I sat down. I'm upset that you didn't give us an option to take your clothes off. <laughs> well, maybe the next photo shoot. I'm not taking my clothes off, but you guys do what you want to. Don't nobody want to see me out here shaped like Dr. Robotnik? I keep trying to tell y'all. No, you you build more like a pear. Dr. Robotnik, an egg on stilts. It's different. <laughs> Listen, if I take these pants off, you're going to see an egg on stilts. We, with a big old duck meat. With some big old duck meat. Baby, show him the little star. The little star. And on that note... And on that note, guys, <laughs> we'll be back in just a second with our guest... I hate you so much. Normally, I'm better. Like, I'm we are back with our special guest. He is wonderful. He's a goblin. Um, he does he does things of the things and the things. Um, this is Squishy. What's up, Squishy? Thank you for having me. It's so good to be here. Oh. Uh, so what do you want to know about me? So how first, you... I want to know how, first of all, how did you get your name? Is it because you're booty squishy? No, I, okay. So I came up with the name Squishy five, six years ago. And it was kind of just an offhand, like, eh, let's go with it and see what happens. No one named me. No one gave it to me. It was just something I pulled out of a hat and went with. And now I can't go with anything else except the Goblin. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was way dorkier than that. I thought it was for fucking my little uh, Finding Nemo <laughs> bullshit and that made me... Don't tell me. I, I literally put He's gonna that, find a way to ruin it. I literally put that on like the list of things that you just fucking annoy me with. No, I was it like, was... God damn it. Nothing to do with Finding Nemo. It was nothing to do with... Because I was actually pretty skinny at the time. I weighed 125 pounds. You could have been bony back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bony, I can't do it. We we forward bones. thinking, forward thinking. <laughs> Cindy, this is bones. <laughs> that has made it so far. <laughs> Cindy, that's bones. That's bones. <laughs> you scared of Calista Flockhart? <laughs> Not Calista <laughs> Flockhart. Leave her alone. <laughs> Sorry. So, no. It was just a, a random name I pulled out of a hat and... Uh, now I'm just squishy. Now you're just squishy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a little squishy, but... I mean, listen. Shouldn't be eating those triple cheeseburgers from McDonald's is what I shouldn't be doing. I might get one, I might get one on the way home. Mm. How? <laughs> I thought it was going to be me this whole episode, but I'm glad it was him. <laughs> you call me a terrorist. This person terrorizes This is me. the terrorist. <laughs> He fucking sent me a message. Hey, what time is the show? And I'm like, bitch, you can't fucking read? I sent you everything in a message. And he goes, the flare reads for me. And I'm like... No. What in the hooked on phonics didn't what work for God you? God damn. No, no. Flare reads for me. Look, I forgot about fucking this Fucking reading twice. rainbow bullshit. I forgot this was happening today. Twice. If it weren't for flare... Let me tell you something, and I'm gonna but I'm gonna be real with you. If we had done and set all this up, and you didn't show up, cause you forgot, we'd have spent 45 minutes fucking just dragging, drag, you drag, her. <laughs> drag, dragging you. Let me tell you, you about guys would still be taking pictures. What do you mean? Your clothes would be all, well, at least his would be. Uh, yeah, it'd be some. Money. I mean, it really would. It's hard for me to get mine on to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did you come into the pup community? So, a couple of uh, friends of mine, back when I kind of started getting into the kink community in Kansas City, uh, one of them introduced me to pup play, and I kind of started as a kink. I, I'm sure a lot of pups do, but that's not true for everybody. Um, I started as a kink, and it was probably a good year or two before I bought my first hood, and it really gave me an appreciation which I carry forth today to you don't need gear to be a pup 
and the amount of times I was kind of turned away or looked at different for not having a hood. Uh, I'm actually surprised I'm a pup. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I got a, I got my first Amazon hood. Um, and tried then, and true Amazon. Tried and true. Well, you know, I got it. I had to make sure I liked it before I go and spend $300 on a hood. You know? Yeah. So you're opposite of me. <laughs> No, you gotta dive head first into that's how I do. Like, do. I gotta go full force, I'm all or nothing. The only place my head's going is in the pillows. Yeah, baby, you dive in. We'll use a pillow, princess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at yeah. this boy and tell me anything else. Mm -hmm. You think he's getting on top? <laughs> the only time he a top is when you when he spin around on the deck. You saw him try to go up the stairs, struggle to get up there. Top, <laughs> look, top of the stairs, no can do. Can't do it. These knees ain't what they used to be. Stay off of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> knees are strong. It's, I've seen them bitches at work. You got Megan the Stallion knees. Nah, this, the, this is the only man I ever seen. He's like, oh, I'm old and I'm falling apart. He's also the same man I see squat in the squat position, suck dick for 45 minutes. Listen, a man of he talent. He said the rest of me. He said the rest of me might be old, but these knees is young. And this is all in the same night at Pound. <laughs> That no. doesn't happen at Pell. It doesn't happen. It's a family-friendly event for 21 and over at a bar. <laughs> we would never. We definitely don't do that. <laughs> at least not anymore. Especially in close-knit group circles of people in the dark. That definitely doesn't happen. <laughs> so right here. your business? It's not my business, baby. I don't stay in a circle. You gonna throw that ass in a circle? You don't throw that ass in a circle. Oh, I don't do that. That's for people with good backs. <laughs> I do. You got a good bag. I do got a good bag. I said, listen, I said I'm, gonna go, I'm just about to go sell my ass for some Beyonce tickets. I'm going to sell this good pussy for Beyonce. She doesn't bring a... Oh, is it I Rihanna or I'm trying Beyonce. to find it. I was trying I to find it. I smack the listen, shit out of you. I told you I'm making progress into being nicer. You got to give me You got to give me the space. I'm going to give you the space. There's a little... I'm trying to find it. I'm going to give you the grace. Damn, girl, it's taking you that long? Yes. Anyway, so back so back to you. Back to me. Always me. Always you. The goblins always first. So let's talk about the goblin situation. How did you come to be a goblin? Fuck if I know. It's your like, is it your fursona? No. Is it gob or your skin sona? Is it just who you are? It's just who I am. Have I you am. always been a goblin? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what brought it about, though. I think I was just bored one day. Are you the only goblin? Absolutely not. I have an army. You have an army of goblins. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are the king goblin, though. Yes. Like, yeah. it is... You look nothing like David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> These right. thighs ain't fitting in those pants. <laughs> he can do this with the, the balls. He can do this to my balls. <laughs> He's been, he been doing this to balls a long time. We'll get into that in the, in the after dark. Ball. That's three of them at a time. <laughs> Ask Claire what I do with his balls. He'll, uh... <laughs> we are in the after dark portion. We will find out. Um, <laughs> Matter of fact, we may have Flair on. The t he ain't gonna just, do it. No, he won't. Uh, uh, you, you have handcuffs in that dungeon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, we'll get him on. <laughs> Put him on the bondage board. Yeah. <laughs> Slide it out. Just across. No, the they, we'll just be on the uh, St. Andrews back here. We're back here, like sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when I say St. Andrews cross. I see him peering over there, just <laughs> worried for his life. Listen, we have a <laughs> He's just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> our, we do have our interns in the building. We have interns, we have guest visitors. It's great today. Um, goblins have to be chauffeured everywhere, so... I mean, yeah. They can't reach the pedals. <laughs> no, we're, we're a danger to society, so we yeah, can't... Yeah, 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 you are. So, so, go ahead. You... You did not, how do I say that? You didn't name yourself the Goblin. Mm -hmm. People began naming you that. Mm -hmm. I had me as one of the people that were just like, you're such a, it was out of a fit of rage calling you a fucking Goblin. I was like, you're such a fucking little Goblin. And I know I've done it. I know Mama, who's been on the show has done it. Fucking. Scrappy has done it. Scrappy has done it. And then it just stuck. Yeah. You live. Like, it's like you live for, like, antagonizing people. And as somebody that lives for that shit, you fucking get on my nerves. <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
um, like it's funny because I didn't when the, the the few times that we'd interacted before I jumped into the chat, I was like, he's so quiet and sweet. And then we got the chat, and I realized, no, you like to tear, like you live for trouble. You you're a messy bitch who lives for drama. Yeah. And trouble. And just, just, and just causing, causing trouble. Causing bullshit. I don't cause bullshit. All I do is post people. Uh -huh. sure you're not a cat? Pretty sure. Because I can see that, like... Oh, I would 100% do that. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. And then you'd just be like, oops. Yeah, yeah I don't have to I wouldn't even say oops. Straight. I yeah. would just walk away. Yeah, you just knock it open and walk away. You don't yeah. say anything, because if you say something, then it's like, oh, no. It's, no then you're asking not. for attention. Yeah, I'm not asking for attention. I just... The attention just comes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. So let's talk about these food crimes. Oh, God. I knew that was coming. So for those of you who aren't part of the group chats or anything like that, Squishy has an affinity for finding the most grotesque, obscure, terrible fucking combinations of food and things that you can possibly put together on the internet. And then, like, sending them to a group chat to ensure, hey... I want everybody to see this. But, no, okay, so it's not just that he finds them. It is that there is a line of 40 of them at a time. I, okay, first of all, <laughs> first of all, I will say that one time that I did carpet bomb with him, I was requested to do so. Who did the request? I'm not going to say who requested me to do so, but... Jacob. Would... It wasn't me. I'm one of the people who stopped him from doing it. I was unjustly censored. That's wrong. You were justly censored. I was unjustly censored in this group chat, and I how did that make you feel? Good, because it means it means my job was done. <laughs> I'm so glad I am not part of this group chat. It's a fucking <laughs> mess. It is. You know what it is? Is it is a mess, but it is a fun mess. It's just a fucking chaos. I see. I so I had I had to download Telegram specifically because of IPTC, mm -hmm. and they like use it for the contestant chat. That's the only reason why I downloaded this to begin with. And so the contestants are all in there, and I swear nobody in this in this chat works because I will be I will be working and on conference calls, and my phone just sits here, ding 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 ding, ding. and I'm like. You know, I get off of a 30 minute phone call or whatever, I look at my phone and I've got 172 messages. I'm like, I'm gonna miss stuff. That if they post something important for the group chat, gone. I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> First of all, I ain't gonna take too much more y'all shame people with no jobs. It's not, that's not a shame. It's like, the point is, not everybody can sit here and be a member of these chats that just go and go and go and go. I really feel like you should jump into incognito, jump into the pub chat. Don't no, say don't do just it. don't. I don't, don't want. Do I don't want notifications. I don't. If I did something like that, Listen, they would be completely shut day, down. Every day, it's something different. And one day, it's like, hey, there was that one day I was like, hey, it's my birthday. Y'all post ass. There was like forty five ass pictures in there. I was like, hell yeah. The other day, it was all food bullshit. Everybody was like, look, I've been unjustly censored since like January. So it I know. Have been the other I was day. one of the people who did that. Yes. What are you still censored? Yes. yes. Are you weight limited? Uh, I cannot send uh, photos or videos, but I can still send links. I can still send gifts. I can still. Oh, I, I can. I can still carpet bomb the shit out of that chat. I didn't realize it actually. Oh no, we fully. We can block you from sending anything, and it's fantastic. Whenever I opened that up, and it was like, "Stop from sending X, Y." They were, they were like, "You can stop them from sending." Everything, and mm -hmm. I'm like, you could just make it to where they're just a person in the group that just is in there. That, that I can't believe they they, they were like, "Down boy, no." I oh, and they keep trying to get me to promise to never post them again, and I won't do that. No, and that's why we're not open again. Exactly, I will stand my ground. I've done my duty. I have, I have terrorized. I have goblinized. I just love the fact that you have been unjustly, unjustly framed. For carpet bombing the chat that you that was someone else's idea and like Lil Kim you won't snitch I don't snitch we got someone had posted we got complaints about it that's why you got censored look okay so but whoever on, blamed on, them for your censorship look the fact that I have ruined people's climaxes with my food crimes gives me so much joy 
I don't know who's climaxing and looking at that group chat, but they need to stop. <laughs> they need better <laughs> stuff to do. Who's climax? The what? Wait a minute. No, we'll can't. talk about that in the past, you know. <laughs> If you're I, using that as your masturbation fodder. Yeah, no, they opened the there. chat thinking there was going to be some juicy pics. No, it's just food crimes. <laughs> I mean, they were juicy, but I mean... I got nothing. <laughs> you know, it's like, and every once in a while, like, I would be like, no, just no. If you weren't so dependable and like that, I know I could be like, Squishy, hey, do this, and you would. Bitch, listen. <laughs> I'd hate you so much, but because you are a good person that I can depend on to, like, get things done, 100%. But, I'm, man, you fucking ride that line as closely as you can. You ain't supposed to tell him that, because now you're going to ride it even more. No, he won't, because there's times that I have to literally physically restrain myself and be like, just slap him. Just hit him one good time. It'll he, be fine. He won't, because he knows I'll enjoy it. If I hit him, he's going to moan, and I don't want that. <laughs> gonna ruin it forever. If I hit him, he'll come, and I can't take that. I'm gonna be like, God damn it! Now I'm gross. Now you gotta clean. Now you gotta clean himself up. Clean yourself up. <laughs> God, it has been a while since we've done a show. This is already off the rails. The fucking last episode was the episode, the Hennessy episode. <laughs> the Hennessy episode. <laughs> the Hennessy episode where. It was just either screaming or like Momo screaming <laughs> into the mic or just fuck it. We have to cut out 90% of it. It was just... This, one, this episode we were calling Goblin... Go the Goblin Cave. The Goblin Cave. <laughs> no, we're, we're talking... That, that's what we're calling the Patreon episode. Patreon episode, Squishy will show you the Goblin Cave. The Goblin Cave. cave. <laughs> That's going to cost you $10, though. Yeah. I'll I, give you, like, a dollar. It's fine. Well, that's only 10%. Just a tip, man. That's more than you get on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tip of the goblin's cave. <laughs> <laughs> you poor people are going to know nothing about you other than that you are a fucking... That's why you are a fucking goblin. You are a fucking menace. Which is really unfortunate because I have some amazing project that I've been working on. I don't fucking yeah, I wanna know. I want to know what you're working on. It's building a goblin hut. Yes, but a good goblin hut. Thank you. So I, in conjunction with Scrappy, have been working on bringing education to a wider audience. Two broke hoes? Yes, we're going to call it two broke hoes. Hooked uh. on phonics. <laughs> Hookers on phonics. It's a reading class. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Please tell us what you're going to educate. <laughs> I ain't cut none of this out. I'm going to have to start from the top now because it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Do what you got to do. Give me your heavy on top. You. Go ahead. I'll. Ham <laughs> <Pam> top. <laughs> We talked about this. <laughs> talked about Nobody with a goblin cake is talking <laughs> anything. Tell us about your education. Yes, I'm really. So, we... I gotta breathe again. Until we need to get one of the interns to get your inhaler. <laughs> New water would be delightful. Mm. Um. Got him with the hook on fire. Hook is on fire. Hook is on fire, girl. So, Scrappy and I are working on bringing education to a more wider audience. Um, it's one thing that I've noticed in the past, in my time being in the community, that as a community, we, especially the kid community, does neglect a whole swatch of people who should be included in the educational pieces. Those who are between 18 to 20. Because a lot of times you see these educationals, they're happening at a bar. And they, especially here in Missouri, you can't go in unless you're 21. And 
as a community, it behooves us to make sure that we involve all of our community, especially those who are new to it. What you gonna say now? Listen, you using, if you use behooves, that means that the photon phonics is working. <laughs> but please continue. Please, I was like, you better be using them Scrabble words, uh -huh. bitch. But <laughs> Got a few points for that one. <laughs> Spell. <laughs> Saying it's enough for my brain. <laughs> That's why this is not a spelling class. This is a <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so in May, uh, May the 6th, we are partnered with Leather Masters to bring an educational class. Um, it's. I'm going to give you the poster so you can add it to the screen so people can see what I'm actually talking about. Uh, Scrappy is going to be doing a piece on uh, battling HIV stigma, and I'm going to be doing a Pet 101 class. Nice! Um, we're going to go for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. There will be plenty of opportunities for questions and answers. Um, that is coming in May. and. I would lie if I say I'm not <laughs> nervous as fuck for it, but I'm also excited as fuck for it because I really want our community to start educating in a wider audience than just at bars. And yeah, I, th I like. I think I think that's a really good idea. Um, I think it's something that you're right. It is a very underserved uh, community, and. Um, you know, the a lot of times we get, you know, have, the way people learn, especially at that age, because um, a lot of us didn't come up with the benefit of education classes. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, you learn it from the you guy. You learn it from the, the guy next to you at the bar, or you <clears> learned <throat> it. You learned how, all the ways to do it wrong, mm -hmm. and then finally someone said, "Oh no, no, honey, that's not. Oh, how no, you that's do not it. how you do that. This is how you do mm -hmm. it." And, um, and I think getting different voices um i would if if i were to impart any knowledge i would say uh you know make sure you're you're, you're talking to some of the older the older people and mm -hmm. i think one of the things that we have gotten away from in um and I, I just say in queer life is that we don't there's a we don't listen to the people who came before us um we don't spend the time to say okay you because they 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 pioneered and made the way for this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of knowledge, I think, that gets lost because we don't do that. Right. So I think, you know, getting people younger and, and, and imparting that lot of knowledge and getting, giving them the chance to, A, attain the knowledge themselves and then say, here are the places to, to, to go. Like, for me, I think, you know, making sure, like, if we were to do a leather class for 18 to 20, it would also be, it would be, like, also, here are the books that you need to be reading. You know, here are the things that you need to be, to be, you know, it isn't just, I get to put on, you know, I like to wear a collar or I like to, mm -hmm. you know, put on a harness and, you know, go shimmy shimmy at the bar. Right. Like there's you, actual. You need to have the actual like, references. Mm -hmm. You need to ensure that like your, your actual history of those things are being taught. Yeah. Um, where it came from, all that, because that is part of education or the educational classes that I think gets lost sometimes is kind of where, where that information is coming from. Right. Um, I, I, most of us look at things, we read things, we look through them. Everything comes with a literature reference, mm -hmm. where it comes from, all that. So to reference that, to give people the point of reference as to where it's being pulled from, it's fantastic. Yeah. I think what you guys are doing, because oftentimes what I see is that education it always becomes a big topic when there is a leather competition. It seems to be that education oftentimes gets focused on your leather competitions. You do have, like, your occasional group that will throw out, you know, your monthly education, mm -hmm. the things like that. Does whatever month <clears throat> I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I, I didn't hear them. I don't know if they promoted it or not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> drink <your> juice. <laughs> it is nice to see it to come across and not be focused or centered around a leather competition where it's here's a, it, rather than like really pushing out a class 
and being like, here's a weekend of 18 educational that you may miss half of, mm -hmm. different things like that. You guys are taking it, focusing it, and being like, here, come to it. I do hope you continue it, kind of broaden it across mm -hmm. different topics, get in different guest speakers, you know. That it is our hope, in our, it is my hope and my dream to make it a monthly occurrence for people, a, a meeting center, for lack of a better word, for people to come and learn from the community and gain new interests into communities that she, they may not get an opportunity to get into until they're 25 because they hang with the wrong person and get taught all the wrong ways. Mm -hmm. I also think that like it's a um, in doing that and kind of the way that you're, you're doing it is you're, you're laying a foundation for a, a group the, the newer group to be more informed. Um, I think I've been doing, doing the discussion on HIV stigma I think is a big one because a lot of times I think in order for you to understand where we are now, you have to understand where we came from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in order for us to understand and combat the stigma, we have to understand where that stigma comes from mm -hmm. and understand what it was like. Like, to me, you know, if, again, if I were evil overlord, I would be like, okay, I would want to have somebody who was around during the AIDS crisis and someone who is, you know, who's younger to teach that class in tandem mm -hmm. so that there is context to everything because I think a lot of times when, when especially these days we, we lack uh, a level of context to some things mm -hmm. uh, and, and we just jump out and say well don't do this because it's wrong well yes it, you're right it is wrong but you have to understand why that where that comes from right and it's so I, I applaud you and, and I, I think that that's the, the two of you are doing fucking amazing mm -hmm. Things. It yeah, it was something my I did run on for Show Me Leather, and it was something that I decided before I started the competition that it was something that I wanted to do because I want the next generation to have an easier start at it than I did. I want them to because there are stigmas around everything. Absolutely, there's still stigmas around. Being a pup and <clears throat> having gear, as much as I mean, Zephyr does both. a great job at <laughs> screaming at everybody, you don't need gear to be a pup. There's still a stigma on it, you know, and it's all we can do is keep teaching. And if we, if the newer generation, younger coming in, is understanding that the old, you know, the wrong ways are wrong for a reason. Right, it, and it's it's. Because to me, like, I, like, you can't be, you can tell me all day that something is wrong, but if you can't tell me why it's wrong. Then it's wrong to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, That's then it. it's just like, okay. Yeah. I'm still going to sit here and eat this Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. You, you can't I'm, tell me why Chick-fil-A is wrong. Well, then it's wrong because it's soggy. I mean, I do prefer Zaxby's, but that's just a personal preference. I mean, granted, they are pretty, uh, you know, Chick-fil-A is very homophobic, but also their chicken is soggy. I mean, I, I don't, that's... I just, I do wish for waffle fries on a regular basis. I love a waffle fry. Arby's has got better curly fries, though. I, I just like food, bro. Mm -hmm. That's it. We, we see him then. Oh, uh -uh. don't talk to me. Dragger, dragger yeah. girl. Looking dragger. like you fucking oh, swallowed a volleyball. No. <laughs> He's going to bounce your ass around and camp. Do it. As much as your ass is going to bounce on its own. <laughs> Do it. So tell me about camp, because I have not been... Before we hit camp, I okay. have a question. So uh, could I get a water first? No. Intern, can we please get a water? I'm already doing it. Yep. Um, I need to... Uh, you're, you're parched? You're parched. I'm parched. Yeah. I'm mm. not used to talking with these big words. I understand. <laughs> Thank you. It would behoove you. It would behoove you to take a sip of... Water. Water. Um, I'm gonna spit this. Every time I hear it, will be who you. Does anybody know what musical reference that's from, or no? It would be no. All right. Never mind. God damn. <laughs> You're not gonna tell us now. Best little whorehouse in Texas. It would be Hoove Me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned Sorry. that you ran for your title uh, or your your. your thing, which we will touch on on your Show Me Leather run. I would love to ask some questions about that. Go for it. Um, 
Do you have any intention of running for a title again? No. None. None. Not a single one. Not a single one. No. Was that not an enjoyable experience? It was an enjoy. I loved the experience. I made a lot of good friends. I made a lot of great contacts in the community, and I had a great time up until when Flair almost divorced me. But <clears throat> that's neither here nor there. But no, I. It's for what I want to do with my I don't know, lack of a better word, life. It's not something I need. And I have, I'm pushing ahead and I'm doing the things that I'm going to do without it. And that's I've, it. I've recently made that post, and, you know, on my step down post and uh, my speech. And again, I've, I've said it several times, is you don't need a title to be a great person. You just need to be a great, per or to be great, you just need to be a great person doing great things. And the reality, that's what my problem is. The reality is, the reality is, is you know the the title doesn't do anything other than give you a louder megaphone. That's it's it's a larger platform to stand on. But the the re, you know our community, I and I and I said this as well um, is when it comes down to you know people who they run for a title and whether they lose, whether they win, whether they're stepping down, it doesn't end there. Even if you lose, it doesn't end there because you're you were running for it because you had something to offer for the community. Just because you don't win, or just because you win, or just because you're done, doesn't mean you're done supporting your community and working for the community. You need to continue because that, those are the leaders that we need to make these communities grow and continue. Yeah. Many times, like I yelled at you during the show. Oh, I know. I think uh, you're. I think you you're... do not need the title to do what you're doing. It is fine. The outcome of this does not change anything. It doesn't make your platform dissolve. Nothing. So no. whether you get that, your name called or not. Do what it is you set out to do. Here. Some people that got titles need to shut the fuck up. So and some of them got titles that megaphones loud, and they just aren't doing anything with it. It's and that's no shade to anybody. Before we go, I don't want nobody caught this door at me. They're gonna. They're gonna talk about us on Twitter. Mm. We gonna get canceled. As long as they tag me, I need the interaction. Um, they go can we gonna get canceled like canceled and mm. listen to the Man, They would have to utilize their platform to do that. <laughs> this water is crisp. Not crisp, girl. Um, no, I'm proud of you. You're doing good. Yeah, I guess, I guess, Scrappy too. If he's watching, <laughs> love you. No, I, um, I do. I think that's great, and I, and I love the fact that you, you know, didn't. You went through and you did your, you, you did your run, and you said, "This isn't going." Just because this did, wasn't for me doesn't mean I'm gonna. It's gonna stop me from doing mm -hmm. what I want to do. And you know, it's. Zephyr had a great run of it, and he had all, all three and a half years. Zephyr was that. that, that Zephyr was so tired of that title. <laughs> Zephyr, and, you take know, this. I wish I had a. I had realized that I didn't need the title to do what I want to do before, but Listen, I still would have. It happened when it was supposed. To, the, the, your timing is. When it's supposed to happen. Yeah, it was right as I walked off stage from the first uh, introduction. And I was like, ooh. Yeah, I don't need this title to do what I want to do. You know, and, and sometimes you have to kind of go through that. And and, and kind of go through the motions and do the steps. Mm -hmm. Before you're like, you know, I don't need this. And I think that you are such a dynamic person in general. That it's... That... Like, you really don't need that. Like, your platform is going to be your platform, you know, regardless of, of whether the title exists for you or not. You know, as long as you stop posting food crimes. Hey, you know, if, if this whole education thing doesn't work out, I can still fall back on my goblining and make a career out of that. And we all look forward to that. Everybody, listen to me. Block him. Just block him. I need all of you to go to... What, what, what did you get in, in May? It may the sixth. Everybody on May sixth. I need y'all to go to Leather Masters because if this man decides to take up a career in goblining, I'm water. fucking all you hoes up. It would behoove you. It would be. Did you learn that from <laughs> the scrapping <laughs> squishy on phonics? Hook is on phonics. Hook is on phonics. What is it? That, what was the Simpsons? 
the fucking Tom and Jerry ripoff on The Simpsons. Oh, Itchy and Scratchy? Yeah. The Squishy and Scrappy show. Ooh, the Itchy and Scratchy. The Squishy Yo, itchy and Scratchy now! <laughs> itchy and Scratchy! The Squishy and Scrappy show! Oh, that's, that's, just... the, that's the next podcast, and there was Zephyr and I finally retire. Come and see no. the KCAPC! The Squishy and Scrappy show! That's gonna, that show would be terrible. It would. It's just gonna be them being like, look what I cooked. <laughs> He's gonna be bringing out fucking uh, lima beans with bathtub drain to them. <laughs> and Scrappy is gonna, gonna bring gonna out chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets. Chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets with ketchup. With ketchup. No, ketchup with chicken nuggets. <laughs> have you seen that boy put ketchup on the Unfortunately, I have seen that boy, but. Anyway. Oh, Shay! Girls! Oh, now I've seen that. That unfortunately, I've seen that boy full yeah. stop. Stop. That was a stop. Dragger. That was a full Dragger. Period. No. You said, you you know, so you said you don't like Scrappy? You said you hate Scrappy? You no, said every time you see that. Scrappy, you're going to bust him in the face? Is that what you're saying? Wait, That's hold up. That's getting pushed too far. I don't think he could fight. But <laughs> he knows I love him. It's fine. So, I mean, and if he, I did hit him, I'd become a felon. He'd love me. So. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Switching gears from your title <laughs> runs and your education, let's talk about camp. Actually, let's wait. We'll talk about camp at on the Patreon. No, let's give him some camp. Most we've never talked about camp. <clears throat> yes, we have. We have talked about camp. Cactus camp. <laughs> Cactus Canyon. Yeah. Cactus Canyon. What do you want to know about? It's it? a lovely time. You were you were a star there. You were a little star there. Uh, apparently, I guess I am a little star there, but. Just because you've had your little star mm -hmm. out there, huh? Oh, yeah. But that's who, just what it's who hasn't? Been. No, I've been. He's been. Oh, that's right. You finally went. Oh, yeah. There you go. The little star has never showed up. Mm -hmm. I hate you so much. <laughs> I what do you mean I'm a star there? I, 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 I guess, am I a, a black hole star? Am I a... <laughs> Just sucking up on them planets and shit. <laughs> Slurp Slurp or what? You... That got got 9,000? Your reputation does not precede you. You know who you are there. You created that. Curated and made it for yourself. Your reputation there. Tell me. I, tell. To, be, to be fair, this is where I first met you for the first this time. This is also true. <laughs> <laughs> that I met you at I camp first. stories about you at camp. How you became the little sunflower. Um, all of these. You have so many little monikers that I just <laughs> fucking love. The sunflower. The goblin. I, I'm squishy. Afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid to ask about the sunflower. That's a more Patreon kind of book. That's fine. And that's where we're going to go now. Yes. Yeah. We're going to move. So, guys, so if people want to find you, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Telegram in the KC Pets chat. Or you can find me on Facebook in the Midnight Howl Facebook group. Um, you can also email me at uh, pupsquishy at thepupsquishy.com. Well, I think you're the first person. You're the first person to actually give an email address. I am. It is surprising that your birthday is soon. Tomorrow. Which, which happy early happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Uh -huh. Thank you. Giving an email address, though, like that has really showed your age. Uh, what are you, 47? Is it AOL? <laughs> Excited. I swear to God, if you tell me you have an AOL, <laughs> I swear to God, Zephyr, don't do this to me. I know someone My mother does. does. I think I still have an Excite email, so... I still gonna... have a Hotmail email. We, I do, too. We got a resume at my previous job. They pull it. They were like, oh, this guy looks great. This guy had fucking fantastic credentials. My boss looks at it and goes, at AOL, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. If you still have an AOL email address, you know what that means? That means you're loyal. That means you're not ready for... You're not ready for adaptation and growth. That means you're not loyal. Not part of a company. That means that you... You, you didn't even go to Yahoo when they go on. Do you remember when Yahoo? This is this is way off topic. Yeah. Do you remember when? Do you remember when? Don't you stop it now?